Previously on Spinelli Speaks. I love Dan Brown, okay? I'll fight you. Hi everyone, Danny here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, which means it is time for a rapid review. And if you are new to my channel, a rapid review is when I take a book I have recently read and I review it in 60 seconds. So stick around, hit that notification bell, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in every video. Okay, so for today's rapid review, we are doing an audiobook that I recently read called Practical Magic. You're probably familiar with this. It's an Alice Hoffman book. She recently published a book called Magic Lessons in 2020, which I'm really kind of interested in reading. So I wanted to read Practical Magic first, um, just to get my bearings on the story and then hopefully in the future jump into Magic Lessons. Now, if you are familiar with the film version of Practical Magic, let me just put that out there that my opinion, they are very different. They follow some of the same plot lines and have the same characters, but they changed a lot of significant things for the film. So if you are thinking that the film and the book are going to be the same, you have thought wrong. Uh, so I'm going to do a review of the book and uh, catch you on the other side of 60 seconds. So let's start that timer. The story begins as we learn about the Owens family. It's really all women because there is a curse that causes all of the women to basically not be able to find or keep love. There are two little girls, Jill and Sally, and they grow up in this house with their aunts. As adults, they kind of go their own way. Jill goes off and Sally stays home with the aunts. Sally gets married, has a husband, and tragically, he perishes. Then Sally decides she needs to get out too because it's just too overwhelming. In the town, they're all cast out, but curses truly just follow you wherever you go. So as Sally moves to a different place with her two young girls, she sees that she can't run away from everything. Jill shows up with a dead body, but doesn't play a huge role. It's just kind of there. Really, I expected more from this book. I kind of got a meh feeling. It's more about sisterly bonds, family bonds, love, grief, growing up, and that's really it. Well, that is my review of the book Practical Magic. Um, you can kind of tell that it has similar plot points. However, the differences between the movie and the book are pretty significant. Um, I feel like the movie is way more theatrical. There's a lot more of danger and thrill and suspense in the movie. Um, not that the movie is like a thriller by any means, but the dead body piece definitely is way more interesting in the movie than it is in the book. Um, so anywho, I don't want to like start reviewing again because this is only 60 second review. Anywho, until next time, I hope you're reading something great, taking care and staying safe. And as always, you know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye!